This is what I go through on a daily basis. I just want some kale. That's it. And I have to go to three or four stores to try to get it. So this is like my fourth attempt. I'm at uh, Publix, Whitehall, Charlotte, North Carolina, off of South Tryon Street. Let's go. Speed up the process, you know what I'm saying? I'm hungry. It's lunchtime. I'm ready to eat my kale, you know what I'm saying? Seeing that got them kale. Seeing got that kale in it. You know, all these people, you know, they rushing to go to the grocery store. In the fresh produce section, you know, trying to start their New Year's off, you know, just right, eating healthy, you know what I'm saying, uh, staying fit. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. They got the kill. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to have to get all of that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, they got the kill. Bow. Finishing touches. Of that kale, I got some spirulina and sprinkled on that quinoa. Got a little pink Himalayan salt. Look at that! Oh yeah, oh yeah, my Randy Savage voice, Macho Man Savage voice. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, look at that kale! Look at that. Get it? Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Um, before I begin, I just want to say this. That yes, you know, um, it's been a journey for me. I wasn't always a vegetarian, straight up. Matter of fact, you know, um, when I was younger, <laughs> I used to eat McDonald's all the time. I used to eat fast food all the time. When I was living in New York, it wasn't nothing for me to go to the Chinese food restaurant or your, you know, your local bodega or your pizza shop, you know, and saying, hey, listen, let me get a slice, son. Let me get a slice, B. Two cheese slices. You know what I'm saying? I could go through the timeline of when I was younger, you know, uh, uh, of the bad eating habits I used to practice. You know, I was one of them dudes that was so-called conscious, <laughs> that was reading, you know, building, you know, with the, 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 the guards, the five percenters or the Nuwabians, you know, talking about some, you know, what's today's mathematics and all the rest of that stuff and talking about how I'm not, I don't eat pork and da-da-da-da-da, but at the same time, I was smoking them Lucy's. I was smoking them Black and Miles. I was drinking. I was smoking weed. You know what I'm saying? So I'm proud of myself to be where I'm at right now. Where it used to be at one point in time, I used to hunt for that nick or that dime sack of weed. Nowadays, I'm going to the grocery store hunting for kale. Straight up. I'm very much proud of myself. And in this video, you gotta understand, I'm not here to chastise you. You know what I'm saying? To force you to be a vegetarian. All I'm here to do is to inspire and motivate you. To be the best you that you can be. You know what I'm saying? Because oftentimes we, you know, uh, take our money, our, our hard-earned money, our hard-earned money. That we work 40 plus hours to, to uh, uh, acquire. And we invest our money in materialistic things such as a car, clothes, jewelry. But when it comes to what we eat, we're matchy with that. We order on for the, on for the dollar menu at McDonald's. But when it comes to our taste, our lifestyle, oh, we want nothing but the best, which is crazy to me. That's real talk. You know, I've lived in the South for quite some time now. And you have cities such as Atlanta, Charlotte, Raleigh, Durham, Tampa, Fort Lauderdale, you know, South Florida. And the list goes on. 
that are not really southern cities anymore. They're nothing but an extent an instinct, an extension extension, excuse me, of the north. Straight up. The south doesn't exist anymore. It's it's gone. I remember when I used to live in New York and I used to come down for the summers to visit my my family in Durham, North Carolina. And I will remember the things that my grandmother would feed me. Yeah, true indeed. They had, you know, those thick grits and those thick bacons, pieces of bacon and the buttermilk biscuits and all the rest of that stuff. And you you would think, oh man, you know, I know all of that stuff would clog up your arteries. You know, all of the soul food. But at that time, they were eating, you know, meat, pigs such as pork, or, you know, the pig and the cow and the chicken. They were eating meat that was grass fed, that was raised on farms. Nowadays, our chickens and our our our, 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 our meat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's fed corn. And really is raised in lab, laboratories, straight up. You ever heard of in vitro chicken? That's what's on the market nowadays. You got chicken nowadays that you're eating for real. I'm not trying to make this up and try to make you feel bad or disgusted with yourself. But nowadays you're eating genetically modified chickens that were, were born with without a beak, without feathers. But that's not how it was back in the days in the South. They were eating off the land. And this is the reason why this, the South was, you know, at one point in time, healthy. And, and our grandmothers, our, excuse, me, excuse me, our grandparents, our great-grandparents lived a healthy, long life. Yeah, they was eating meat. But at the end of every, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, they had what? Fruit that helped rinse them, you know what I'm saying, rinse and clean their body. I know, I was down there eating it. My grandmother would give me honeydew melon, cantaloupe, watermelon, seeded that is, grapes, green seeded grapes. But now we've given up the traditions and, uh, of the South and have become modernized. Whereas well, you ask the average person, you know, where they get their fruits and vegetables, their fresh, fresh produce and their meat from, they'll say the grocery store. Not from a farm. I remember my grandmother, her, her next door neighbor, knew how to kill a pig, cow, and a chicken, hang them up, quarter, cut them up, clean the meat, cut, uh, what is it, uh, uh, um, quarter the, the meat up and everything, wrap it up in, 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 in paper, you know, uh, 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 pay, wrap it up in paper and a rubber band and all that stuff, and deep freeze it. And for those that wanted, was interested in the meat, he was selling. And then right down the street, you had somebody that, you know what I'm saying, had a farm. And they were selling fruits and vegetables. I never forget my grandmother going to the strawberry patch and picking, pl um, plucking strawberries for the summer. For, for me, just as well as my sister, when we visited down there to eat for breakfast. But those days are over because now we're modernized. And if we're not going to five-star restaurants, you know, eating out at these you know, fancy-ass restaurants, well, we busy on our phone, ordering from Uber Eats and DoorDash. You know, at one point in time, we used to joke and laugh at the Northerners. Oh, man, they just be running back and forth with their heads cut off. But now this is what we're doing. We're doing the same thing that the Northers have done and continue to do. We running back and forth and we don't have no time to sit down and eat a healthy meal. Straight up. And oftentimes when we have the opportunity to sit down and, and eat a healthy meal, guess what? We're not eating it with our family. That's the first thing. And then the second thing, you know, we're eating Frankenstein meat. Frankenstein fish. Like tilapia. And if we're not eating tilapia, we're eating fish like salmon that were born and raised in a fish farm. 
you think you're going to the store and you're buying salmon filet and you're looking at the flesh like, oh man, the flesh is pink. That means that it's fresh. No. I've seen several documentaries where they feed salmon in these fish farms pink pellets as food. And those pink pellets have dye in it. Thus, the dye literally dyes the flesh of the salmon pink. You thinking you getting fresh ground beef because, oh, it's red. It looks red. Nah, they, they're injecting red 40 inside the dye that is inside of the beef. Food line got caught doing that a couple years back. Meat gray as a motherfucker. And they injected Red 40 inside the meat to make it look red so it can be healthy. They're doing all types of things to our meat, to our food. But we don't care. But at the same time, we're going to the grocery, excuse me, we're going to the, to the hospital. Being diagnosed with diabetes. Pancreatic cancer. Prostate cancer. Colon cancer. Thyroid cancer. And the list goes on. Per, we're perplexed about the situation because we're like, well, it doesn't run in my family. It wouldn't, yeah, it doesn't. It's the food that we're eating that's destroying us. As well as being inactive. Because here in the South, nobody walks, nobody runs. Because we don't have to. In order to get to wherever destination that we have to get to, most of us drive. Unlike in the north. In the north, most people don't need a car. You you walk to wherever you gotta go. This is how people stay fit in 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 in, in why. Oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Northern states rather. But here in the south, you're looked, you look, you're, you're frowned upon when somebody sees you out there walking. They thinking that you're broke. It's not in our culture to walk or run anywhere. Let alone have a bike. That's real talk. But see, the thing of it is, is I, I came from the old South. I know what the old South was like. And it's nothing like what the new South is right now. That's real talk. You got places like Atlanta, man. I thought when I, when I moved down to Atlanta, being that it's located in the state of Georgia, that I was going to see peach stands everywhere, peaches everywhere. I ain't seen none of that shit. None of it. I didn't see none of the peaches that I would want to actually eat. No pun intended. Pause. Straight up. Double entendre. <laughs> yeah, but yo, man, I mean, yo, it's a lot of women down there that got BBLs. See, nowadays, nobody's in the gym. Nobody's eating right because they don't have to. All you got to do is cop, pop a pill, get cut up and all the rest of that stuff and you good. Nobody has the patience to sit down and practice good eating habits. Nobody has the patience to go to the gym and work out. Yeah, okay, tomorrow I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to see about a thousand and one people that I've never saw before in the gym prior to New Year's, you know what I'm saying, New Year's Day. But guess what? All those people are going to fall off by the end of the month. Straight up. And that's real talk. The South has turned upside down. You go to Miami, for those that frequently visit Miami, what do you see in the airport? I'll wait. Yes, you see lines of women in wheelchairs. If they're not in wheelchairs, they're standing up and their butts are padded. Padded up. They got... You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the wrappings over their face. Because either they went to go see Dr. Miami. Or went to Brazil. And got their ass done. BBLs. Their lips injected. Cheeks hot. Shit cut up. All of that. You go to Miami Beach. South. South. Miami Beach. That's all you see down there. It's just plastic people walking around. No lie. That's my word. Plastic people walking around with, I'm not going to even say suntan, sunburns. I know because I, I I frequently go to Miami. 
And that's what you see. The South is not the South anymore. Straight up. That's real talk. Most of us live modernized lifestyles. You tell somebody, yo, um, I'm about to go to this uh, farm right here and I'm going to pluck my my you know my vegetables and i'm gonna get you know i'm going to this butcher right here that i know of and i'm gonna get my meat from here they're gonna be like what why don't you just go to harris tita man why don't you just go to audi why don't you just go to food line why are you going through all of that trouble and it just bugs me out man but you know i'll go through that trouble because all I have is one life to live. Straight up. That's real talk. I want to stay on this planet as long as possible. You know, and it's just a shame, man, that I've I've literally saw with my own eyes the downfall of the South. Straight up. I remember, man. I remember it so. It's, it's so vivid in my mind of how the South used to be in comparison to what it is now. And you're wondering why, you know, big mama got diabetes, big mama got high blood pressure. You know what I'm saying? Uncle Uncle uh, uh, Jeffrey had to get his toe or uh, his whole foot removed, cut off because he got grain green and all the rest of that stuff. Diabetes. You're wondering why you're wondering why you have people that are at these health clinics. You know, waiting to get their prescriptions filled and, and they, they they slowly, but, you know, they, they damn near in their 40s, going into their 50s, they, they got their legs amputated, they walking all slow, and, you know, all types of stuff, dementia, all of that. You're wondering why. What's carcinogens in your food that you're eating? And then they come out with these healthy alternatives, you know what I'm saying? Like Beyond Meat or the Impossible Burger to kind of like, you know, say, hey, this is a healthy alternative towards meat, but it's it's not. It really isn't. That's what you call Frankenstein food. Straight up. You know, they're about to have a, a slutty vegan. You know, they have it in Atlanta. They're about to have it in Charlotte. And it's probably going to be long lines like it is in Atlanta and Charlotte when they open up one here. No, it's really one coming here. For real. But at the end of the day, that ain't nothing but Frankenstein food. Real talk. Real talk. But people think, oh, you know what? This is a healthy alternative because it's not meat, but it's made in a lab. They go through the trouble of, well, supposedly it's supposed to be beet juice that makes it look like it's blood. You know what I'm saying? In those impossible burgers and, and all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? But you really don't know. You don't. Oh, it tastes like meat. It's what are we really eating food for is the question. Because Elijah Muhammad said, and I'm not a Muslim, but when people talk the truth, you got to what? Listen. Elijah Muhammad said we're here to live, excuse me, eat to live, not live to eat. And that's real talk. That's real talk. And shouldn't you be conscious or aware of what you're eating? What you're putting inside your body? Does that, doesn't that make, make sense? You wouldn't wear fake jewelry. Oh, I can't wear this fake jewelry. You know what I'm saying? Or the, um, what they call it? The, um, the, the gold as covered, um, I forgot what they, uh, gold cut, uh, coated necklaces. You wouldn't wear that. Oh man, I can't wear that because it make my neck turn green. So what do you think? When you eat some BS, or let's just say some regular cow, ground chuck beef or whatever, that's injected with hormone steroids in it, what do you think is going to happen when you digest that to, in your body? What is that going to do to your body? Because they got foods nowadays that can forever change and alter your genetics. Oh, it gets deep. It's real talk. And I know this is kind of crazy to you all in the North. You think, 
that in the South, you know, please, you know, it's cleaner air, better environment, trees everywhere, whatever. Man, the South is just as dirty as New York is. Well, I ain't going to say just as, but it's damn near close to it. Atlanta got an air pollution problem. Facts! That's what I'm talking Just bugs me out, man. I just caught, um, caught my conscious Christmas. My bladder rack. Combine, combine these two together. Can't beat it, man. The body needs 102 minerals. And it's said that sea moss contains all of them that the body needs. You know, we're so fixated on this protein thing. You need protein, 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 protein. But the reality of it is that protein doesn't even exist. It's amino acids. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's about 23 of them. And 12 of them your body produces. And what about the other minerals? You know what I'm saying? Such as zinc, magnesium, potassium. And the list goes on. Vitamin B12. Vitamin D, because most of us are vitamin D deficient, especially, in, you know, in the wintertime. You know, we're not out and about, so we're not getting direct sunlight. You're wondering why we're stressed or why you're stressed, why you're depressed. Well, they tell you that the lack of vitamin D will cause you to be stressed and depressed. And I just got into it with some dude that left a comment in the comment section of one of my videos and he was saying, why you drink so much water? Well, first and foremost, the body is composed of what? 60% water. The earth is composed of what? The earth's surface is composed of 71% water. The brain is composed of 85% water. The air, the air that we breathe has water in it. And I'll go further. I'm gonna show you my alkaline machine. Let's go. So let me go ahead and show you my alkaline machine. Or well, they'll call it the mineralized, you know, water system. But what you do is you, you know, use regular uh, faucet water, fill it up to the top right here. And then it goes through a filter. This is the first stage. And then it drops, the water that is drops down here. And it's a slow filtering system, you know what I'm saying? It takes hours for it to go through this process. This is the second cartridge right here. And this has charcoal, you know, iron, all of the minerals right here. And it filters through, the water filters through, you know what I'm saying? It, it gets rid of the toxins, you know, such as uh, chlorophyll, fluoride, etc. And then right here is where, you know what I'm saying, the water drops and stops right here. And these are the, this is the rock formation. This keeps the, um, water alkaline until you, you know what I'm saying, are ready to use it. So this is it right here. Um, for those that are interested in, you know, this uh, alkaline machine or ionizer machine, mineralized water, whatever you want to call it, water system, you know, the company is Santiva. That's S-A-N-T-E-V-I-A.com. You know what I'm saying? Check it out. I've been using this water for years and um, I, um, I have pH uh, strips. So I normally test it and the water's between nine and a half and 10 alkaline. You don't want your water um, on a spectrum. You don't want it to be acidic and you don't want it to be too alkaline. So anywhere between eight to 10 or I say eight to nine and a half, you know, the alkalinity of the water is great. You know what I'm saying? Anything above 10 you know, it's too alkaline. You know what I'm saying? Anything below seven, such as like six or 6.5, that's too acidic, you know, for your water. So this is it right here. I've been using this water for years. Or this system, this water system for years, man. All right? So this is what bugs me out. Not only am I drinking water, but I'm drinking the right water. Alkaline water. Someone tried to make a mockery of a fool, a uh, fool of me, for drinking water every time I do videos. That's all right. I tell you what, I know what you all are gonna say, and then I'm gonna end it with this. You know, a lot of you all that don't eat right, that's obese. You know, you make up all these stories and you know all of these things and stuff like 
you know, for example, where you can eat healthy all you want, but get hit by a car. So it don't mean just because you eat healthy don't mean that you're gonna live a long life. Okay, let's 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 just be real. At least I'm trying. That's the first thing. At least I'm striving to be the best me that I can be. And if it just so happened I get hit by a car, I died healthy. I died living a healthy life. Straight up. Because at the end of the day, let me tell you something. It's the quality of life that you want to deal with. The quality of life. You see, I don't want to live to be 90 years old with a, my back slumped, you know, my back bent over and I'm slowly, slowly walking and stuff. Nah, that's not, I don't want to do that. So in order for me to not live like that, I got to eat right. I got to drink nothing but the best. So instead of me going to a five-star restaurant, I'd rather invest in this alkaline machine that <laughs> reduces fluoride in my water, chlorine, heavy metals, you know what I'm saying? It alkalines and reduces the acidity of my water and provides essential minerals such as calcium, magnesium, etc. Real talk. So you can pick on me as much as you want. I never eat grass. That's what it look like. Oh, it's nasty. It tastes nasty. So what are you really eating food for? The taste? We've gotten so far away from the traditional way of doing things in the South to the point where I don't even think that we're ever going to be able to bounce back from this. But hey, do what you have to do. Health is wealth. Other than that, my name is Langston2092. I want you to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely share this video.